Hey guys, it's Mike, and today we're talking about Zettelkasten. What is it, how do I use it, and how can you use it as a learning method? So Zettelkasten is a way that you can store and organize your knowledge. It's a particular way that you take notes and then tag those notes to help you make connections between the notes. And from there, you can generate new ideas quickly. Because nowadays we have access to so much information at our fingertips, from the internet, to books, to the news. But how do we make sense of all this information? How do I link an idea that I found from a book to an insight that I got from watching a documentary months ago or years ago even? Well, that's the whole idea behind the Zettelkasten method. New knowledge is added to your existing knowledge and this boosts your understanding of both and this helps you generate new ideas. As doctors, sometimes we use this method to make connections between the latest research and as YouTubers, Maddie and I use this method to crank out a lot of content at a high level. So Zettelkasten literally means a box of notes or a note box. It was developed by uh, Nicholas Luhmann, who was a German sociologist, and he used this method to publish at maximum efficiency. He published over 40 books and over 600 papers in his career. So that just goes to show how powerful this method can be. So here is how you can apply the Zettelkasten method into your daily routine in order to become a creative machine. So to do this, you'll need two things. And the first thing is a way to take notes. And you can use pen and paper, that's perfectly fine. But we recommend that in a digital world, you use digital note taking. So I would consider using a note taking app on your mobile device. And here are some of our favorites. The second thing you'll need is a program with bi-directional linking, which means it can connect two ideas back and forth between each other. And here are some of our favorite programs. So new ideas and insights can come at us at any time. And when this happens, just write it down. Okay, so that's step number one is to make notes on the go. So if I'm reading a book or listening to a podcast and I get a good idea, I'm going to write it down. Okay, you want to think of yourself as a collector of ideas. And when I write it down, I want to make sure to include the source of where it came from. So here I'm just browsing the internet and I find this quote from Kanye West about money. Um, having money isn't everything, not having it is. And I think that's kind of interesting. So I'm going to go ahead and write that down in my notes app. And throughout the day, if I come up with any more interesting ideas, I'm going to go ahead and write them down. So in step two, and for me, that's usually at the end of the day, I'm going to go back and look at all the notes I've collected and I'm going to sift through them and put tags on them. And yes, this is kind of like hashtagging. So I'm going to import all the notes that I wrote down for today into a bi-directional linking program. So let's use Rome Research. And I'm just going to dump all these onto this daily notes sheet. Today is May 2nd. And these are all the notes I've collected for today. So now I'm going to go ahead and put tags on them. And tagging is a little hard to explain because it should be customized and personalized to you. Um, not everyone's is going to be the same. And the way that I go about tagging is not to categorize the ideas, but I'm more so trying to relate it to other ideas that I've had in the past. And for example, this quote is about money. So some people might tag it with the word finance or some people might use the word money. I personally have a tag that I've used in the past called the value of money. And I think this quote kind of fits, so let's go ahead and do that. And just a note, I like to make my tags long and descriptive, and I try to avoid too general of a tag like finance or money. Now in step three, it's time to figure out which one of these notes I wanna keep. Cause you don't have to keep all your notes. You only wanna keep the best ones, the pearls and the gold nuggets. And the way that I decide which notes to keep is by comparing it to the ones I already have. So what I'm gonna do now is go back and look at all the past ideas I have under this tag, the value of money. So here we have money is the root of all evil. Money isn't everything, money is a tool. So with these past ideas, I was making the connection that there's more value to money than just the economic value. Now, this is why it's so important to write down the source of where your notes came from, because knowing that this quote came from Kanye West, a rapper who talks about social inequalities, I can see where he's coming from. Having money isn't everything, but it is everything to those who don't have it. And as a consequence, those people's relationship with money is a motivator for their actions. 
whether it be good or bad. Sorry, I don't mean to go off on a tangent, but that's just me making connections between my old and new notes and generating new ideas. But now I can go and write a blog post about my interpretation of the value of money. So using the Zettelkasten method, I have a systematic way to store and organize and connect information and generate a lot of new ideas quickly. I am not an expert on this topic, so I'm gonna leave some links in the description, but I just wanted to mention that there's no right or wrong way to use the Zettelkasten method. Um, so you can use it however and with whatever you like, whether it be um, creative or academic or with your research. I hope this video made sense and definitely try it out for yourself and let us know in the comments how it worked for you. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed that video. Give it a thumbs up because it really helps us out. And if you want to see more, click on the red subscribe button down here or the circle up here. Check out our website or check out our Instagram. Links in the description below. And check out these videos over here. We think you might enjoy them. And we'll see you next time.